that he was a bit of a knob. <laughs> Hyperactive, direct, and sometimes lecherous James, who made, he liked to make silly jokes about cheese, and dyed his hair some ridiculous shade of red, and generally liked to think of himself as a bit wacky or sandy. My best plan was just to ignore him until he went away. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I was stuck with him and next door to him for a year, and over time we found common points of interest to build a friendship on, such as an admiration for eccentric cricket commentators, depressing Indian music bands from Oxford. The opening lap of the 1998 Belgian Grand Prix. <laughs> and an unexplainable fascination with constructing towers out of the empty beverage reception. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, James and I actually were flatmates in halls. <coughs> they are all swampy. Uh, our, swamp, uh, our pond loving next door neighbour. Um, and I see here today um, actually a lot of uh, alumni from the best halls in uni. So, Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So, so. I missed that one. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> essentially, there was a great gag about the drinking game, and uh, <laughs> the drinking game. The man drinking game. Let me go back. Okay. Why? Right. <laughs> so I sit here today. <laughs> Tessie in our second year, he began putting his newfound culinary expertise into action 
I remember early in their relationship, James would talk for hours in the kitchen, trying to capture Tessa's heart by preparing some of the most lavish, gourmet, <coughs> vegetarian meals. <laughs> Since that day, I'm proud to have watched James blossom into a beautiful housewife. <laughs>